Today I want to show you how easy it is to build your FPV system using a Bosscam FPV transmitter and receiver. Now what is FPV? FPV simply means first person view, where the system gives the, the operator or the pilot the ability to see what's ahead of the vehicle. Now what kind of things can FPV be used for? Well, something that's really popular these days is FPV quadcopter racing. But it can be used for more day-to-day -day activities such as uh, search and rescue operations, inspections, surveillance, and even research. So let's get started. So here are the main components for building our FPV system. We have a little day-night vision camera, a 7-inch color monitor, the Bosscam TS351 FPV transmitter, and the Bosscam RC805 FPV receiver. So let's start with the transmitter. The transmitter comes with uh, these two wire harnesses. Here's for your the red and black being for your power and then your camera connection being these five wires here. Now our particular camera only uses the black, yellow, and red wire so you can see that I've taken, taken the wire that comes with the camera which looks like this and I've cut off this little connector and spliced it directly to the wires on the transmitter. Yellow being yellow, black being black, and red being red. Then this little connector goes into this socket here, the bottom of the camera, and just plugs in like that until you hear a little snap. And then we just need to apply or connect some power to the transmitter. And that's half our system built already. When we have power, you can see that this LED will light up. Now one thing I do want to say is never connect uh, power to your transmitter without first connecting your antenna. Otherwise you'll burn out the amplifier. Another thing that you want to do is right here is several dip switches. So you know, you want to take a razor blade and carefully cut out the protective wrap that's on the transmitter itself. That way you can easily get to these dip switches if you have to make changes uh, to your channel. So that's it for the transmitter and the camera. So let's just take this and set it aside. Oh, one th another thing that I should mention. If you were going to incorporate this into a quadcopter or an RC vehicle or um, a robot, you can you have two choices. You can run uh, a separate power supply or in the case of like a racing uh, FPV quadcopter having a second power supply isn't that practical because of the extra weight. So then you can just simply cut off this JST connector and then solder it directly, wire it directly to a power distribution board. And that way you can run the entire uh, system off of the same battery as what you're running your other systems. Okay, so let's set this aside out of our way for just a moment and have a look at our receiver. Our receiver has the antenna connection and then two AV uh, outputs and our power supply. Now this will run on both of these actually, the transmitter and the receiver will both run on 7 to 12 volts. So 
let's just connect a some power to this and I'm just using a little seven little seven point four volt lipo battery. And now we'll connect this cable which comes with the receiver and all of these components can be purchased on our sponsors website uh, eurodrone.com so just pay them a visit and pick up the parts that you need and we can connect it here to this nice little seven inch monitor and then that part of the system is done now a nice thing about having two audio video uh, outputs is you can have one connected to a small seven inch monitor for a pilot and then in AV2 you could actually connect another seven inch monitor or connect a big screen TV if you had a search and rescue team maybe standing behind you and that way they can look at the details of the flight while the pilot uh, concentrates on flying the craft or uh, let's say uh, you were doing some FPV racing and the pilot is using his monitor, uh, you could hook up a big screen TV so that you can engage your audience and your audience can experience the same thing as what your pilot is experiencing. So that would be wonderful to see that happen. Now this seven inch monitor, it can be um, mounted on a receiver with uh, using a carbon fiber frame, a, a, a universal carbon carbon fiber, uh, my tongue tongue tied. Uh, using a universal carbon fiber frame, and it can also be connected to a simple uh, tripod with this screw mechanism on the bottom. So to apply power or to connect power, we have this one connector and when I first saw it I thought wow we've got something that's uh, um, been manufactured incorrectly because I never seen a connector like this and then I realized that this was for the power now for the field I picked up this from Eurodrone.com this lithium ion battery which is a very, very nice battery. I don't know how long it will last on the field, so I did pick up two of them, but it has a built-in switch here and a small LED indicator here, and it connects very nicely to the seven inch monitor, but not only does it connect nicely to the monitor, it also comes with a uh, AC uh, adapter for charging. So it's a very nice little little setup. So for now though, what we're going to do is just connect a AC adapter to the monitor. But I'm not sure how, how uh, long this will actually last, but we'll give it a try on the field. All right. So now let's bring our camera back into the picture here and turn it on and then we'll turn on our receiver Oops. there we go we can change the channel There we go, and let's have a look here. Channel 7. There we go, nice and clear. Look at that. Now this is a, supposed to be a day-night vision camera, 
So I need to test out how it performs in low light conditions. And that's your FPV system. Now, why don't we hook up both a monitor and a big screen television and have a look. So give me a minute and I'll be straight back. All right, in order to hook up our seven inch monitor and our big screen TV to a single AV output on our receiver, I had to pick up a RCA Y connector and also a little adapter so we can connect to male ends. And then you'll do the same for both the audio and the video. Connect one end to the receiver, the adapter goes to the television, and then the other one simply goes to the monitor. Alternatively, you could use uh, two receivers and have them both listening into the same channel if your audience uh, viewing the big screen was some distance away from your pilot. For example, uh, FPV racing fans or a search and rescue team or a group of inspectors or engineers or what have you. So let me pull back and you can see it on both the monitor and the big screen. All right, so let's do a little flyby with the camera. I'll try not to put the television to fly over the workbench. Around, oh, there's that monkey. And there we have a 7-inch monitor for the pilot and operator. And we have big screen viewing for FPV race fans or search and rescue personnel or building inspectors, engineers. Everybody is happy. And it's that simple.